Scorpios, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, beautiful queens, handsome kings? Somebody try, somebody try to block you and tackle their motherfucking self. <laughs> Quadrilogist, just welcome my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Energy flips, just don't be coming over here trying to put your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Thank everybody for donation, personal reads, thank for everybody for buying products. If you need my information, hit the arrow under the title or get my email out the about section. All right, Scorpios. What's going on, Scorpios? Somebody try to... Yeah, with a ring of people, too. A ring of people? There's a ring of people that was against you, or it's going to be a ring of law going against these... Tackle these people that tried to block you. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All cried out. I don't know why that song's coming. Who says... Mm -hmm. I gotta go see who sings this song. All cried out. Who sings All Cried Out? Because that song's coming to my head. All alone on a Sunday morning. Something could have happened on Sunday. Allure. Dang, I ain't heard that song in forever. But that song just came to, I gave you all of me. And now you all cried out. You were the one who left me neglected. Yeah, somebody was doing mirror magic on you. Or saying mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the fair is on the wall. And the mirror kept on telling me, beautiful queen, handsome king. Yeah, loot. Somebody, I hope they ain't finna be fleeing the loot and the law. But somebody finna have to face the, the music. Somebody finna have to face that music. Yeah, Allure 112. Dang, I ain't heard that song in forever for that song to be channeled. Yeah, uh-huh. Somebody was masking who the fuck they was. Whether they was masking they was a drunk or just masking that who they was around you, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. And while they was trying to put the hair, hammer in the nail of your coffin, it, look, the hammer on the nail finna be on that motherfucking nail. Yeah, mask, yeah, trying to ration out your shit. They said take one more. Give me for this hammer. Where's the hammer? Where's this hammer? Can I have one for scope? Yeah. Somebody made their bed. They got to lay in it. Look, you saddled your up and moved out of this relationship. So the law from the saddle up and come get some people in this relationship. Mm. And whoever got that motherfucking voodoo doll, if they don't cut that shit out, y'all. When somebody's thinking of to remind them that, yeah, somebody was doing candle magic on you too, my beautiful queen. But it's coming to light. It's coming to light that they gambled. They gambled the situation. They gambled the situation. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. I don't know. they tell me. See what you healing or this person has to heal. Somebody need to heal their fucking inner child. Somebody need to do their shadow work. Or somebody can't handle that you did your shadow work. And they can't love bomb you and trauma bond you no more. Could be either way. Mm -hmm. I told you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Somebody was jealous of that, that you beautiful and you handsome inside out. And they wanted to be you. That was somebody doing mirror magic with the beauty spells. And yes, handsome kings, beauty rituals can be put on you too. Yeah, but y'all have patience. Sweating men grown hair coming, them odors out of nowhere. You sweating too much. Yeah, look. This person's sadness from them not healing their inner child or your sadness from you not healing your inner child have you in victim conscious or have them in victim conscious and whoever was in victim conscious against you been lying about victimizing you. They've been victimizing you, but guess what? With their wild ass, they're finding out all it did was help you unleash your creativity on their ass. Uh -huh. Somebody was doing spell work to keep you in procrastination. Now they in procrastination. Now they don't know what to do. They wild ass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. You got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Uh -huh. Look, somebody, somebody need to heal their inner child. They take, they look at a lust as love. Lust is not love. My beautiful queens and handsome kings, lover, family, friends around you, look at lust as love. 
or they took, yeah, or they was messing with less than that to somebody you was with. Look, somebody need to ground themselves, because baby, whoever was trying to, that was less than, and whoever, whoever was victimizing you, as you healed, as you grounded yourself, them secrets that you already had into it about, or spirits told you about, it's going to be on earth. Yes, I got the hiccups again. Mm, out of nowhere. It's a hiccup in this person's... Ooh, where the hell did I get hiccups from? It's a hiccup in this person's situation. That been, they self-victimize. They've been victimizing you, but they act like you've been victimizing it. It's going to be a hiccup in it. They've been fragmenting your life, fragmenting people's, distorting people's view of you. Truth coming out. Keep on healing. For the ones that's healed, congratulations. <clears throat> your visions was right about this bitter bitch or bitter bum, whether they was lover, family, friend, or business. Your vision was right. Spirits was telling you their secrets. You had to learn to trust your intuition that you knew what you knew. Whether you wanted to believe it or not, whether it was a lover, family, friend, or business, or they was working, you had to trust. You knew the secrets. Spirits was telling you those secrets. Yeah, summon. Somebody finna be summoned to motherfucking court, spiritually and physically, because they made the wrong choices. Everybody got choices. Everybody getting their choice. Good choice, bad choice, but not making a choice is still a choice. And whoever knew somebody was doing something negative to you and didn't make a choice to help you still made a choice to be on the negative side. They gonna learn that. Yeah. Honesty. They gonna learn what true honesty is Whoever didn't make a choice. You planted your seeds to walk away from these big-headed motherfuckers. Good job. You planted your seeds. Now, y'all know I always talk about shadow work, and I'm just talk about it all the time. Some people have done it. Some people have it. Doesn't make any, We all humble. Don't make us any better than us, because anybody that's really going through a spiritual awakening, no, just when you hear from one challenge, another challenge comes. But when you start knowing that them challenges is not from your, them challenges is to make you better. Hmm. Yeah, you're not blinded. Day and night. Whoever thought you was blinded about who they was, that during the day they one person, at night they were another, or vice versa, at night they one during the day, you're not blinded. You're not in stalemate either. No, you're not. You know somebody was working with snakes against you, trying to create conflict, whether you said it to them or not. And I understand if you don't. I know many people are my enemies. Even in the spiritual, opening up to this, I know many people act like they, they got me, they my enemies, but they snakes. <laughs> I know it. They didn't announce they snakes, so I ain't got to announce who they are. That they a snake. I'll let God do that, because that's what God told me to do. God told me, I'm just telling you, but let me do the rest, okay? Yeah, somebody, you're not blinded. That snakes was trying to cause conflict in your life. Snakes eat each other, eat each other and eat stuff up. Yeah, look, lovers, look. Somebody was in, there was a third party that was lusting with your lovers, your family, or your friends. Gossiping, overindulging. Yeah, there was third parties. That were less than after each other. Less is not all, all about sex either. Mm -mm. These fools thought they was going to win at all costs. They thought they was gonna, that spell work was going to blind people vision. And they was going to be able to keep people vision distorted of who the fuck they was. And distorted of who you was. But the truth coming out. And y'all see how I had hiccups. And all of a sudden they just went away. There's a hiccup in their motherfucking plans. Hmm. The shit ain't gonna work out like they thought. Why they kept on bringing home conflict, community conflict, and stealing from you. Some of these people were stealing from you. Whether it was your money, whether it was energy, or both. Some of these people thought they was gonna celebrate with this home and community conflict, it's a hiccup in the shit. It ain't working out like they thought it was going to work out. No. <laughs> Them snakes brought conflict on a motherfucking self.
That's what they did. So they gonna eat their own stuff up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And while they was procrastinating against healing, while they was procrastinating to make shit right with you, making the wrong fucking choice, guess what? While they was procrastinating, making, yeah, guess what? Now they gonna have to deal with that shit. Because you moving on. You moving on. You move right on out this shit. <laughs> Sato, you sound at your motherfucking carriage up and move the fuck up out of this. Know that some of them need to know that the police is signing up to get this. <laughs> To come get their ass, too. Yeah. Whoever made them dark choices. <laughs> no, they will be summoned <laughs> to the court. <laughs> Spiritually, physically, both. <laughs> I ain't going to get it. That was the chariot. Good luck to they better bitch or better. Good luck to them. They made their own choice. Yeah, because you ain't heartbroken. And what I said, work without rewards with they big headed asses. You're not heartbroken. You learn how to forgive yourself, forgive them, never fucking forget. But you independent now. You freedom. But you can see through anybody, that family, lover, friends, or business. You seen through, they just want to throw daggers in your heart, working against you with family, lover, friends, or business. Well, again, this could be just lovers cheat. This could be family and friends cheating with your lovers. This could be family, friends, and lovers working against you. You know your fucking story. But they big-headed ass need to know that not only do you know their story, they've been summoned by God and, and, and to spiritual court and real court for their big-headed ass that's trying to plant seeds against you. And they're going to find out it's work without rewards. Uh-huh. Work without rewards. But guess what? And while they was trying to steal your rewards, they're going to pay that shit back. 